Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today I'm going to be showing you, as promised, how to make pink. So we're going to do a single loom in the offset configuration, which means columns 1 and 3 are slightly lower than column 2. The arrow is facing towards you or the open part of the peg is facing towards you. The colour that we're going to need are pink for her hair, skin tone, black, red and I'm using the Persian black and gold bands for her, her leggings. You're also going to need two of the mini pony beads for her eyes. Let's get started. We're going to be double banding. Double banding means you take two bands and you place them on the pegs as if they were one. Like that. Okay. We are not going to be doing bands down here for her bangs because uh, or her fringe because she doesn't have one now at this stage we're going to put some extra bits on here so we're going to take a single pink and wrap it once and do that the same for another one we're going to do five here's three four and five lift one of these up we're going to be adding these to these two top ones so just slide those on like this and replace your band let's do the same for the other side one two three four and five and we slide onto these two. Whoopsie. Let's try that again. Come back here. Get that properly on my hook. Lift these over and slide on. Like that. And replace those two bands here on the center, like that. And we can just twirl these around and they become even. All right, so that's our pink hair. Let's do some skin tone for her face. So two, bands at a time. Oops. Take a single band skin tone and stretch it across these three pegs here like a triangle and then for her eyes we're going to take a single band and twist it once, twice and three times. So to do her eyes I'm going to be using the mini mini beads, the mini pony beads. They fit very nicely down my 2.75 crochet dude hook but you use whichever form of threading you prefer. If you like to use a metal threader I have a tutorial on how you can make one with a twisty tie and that's on my channel. If you prefer floss that works too but uh, we're going to thread and if again I should say if you don't want to use beads you can use bands that's not a problem either. So thread your beads or your bands onto a single flesh tone coloured band and we place that from one side here to the other. Spread the eyes out and then that band that we have those eyes on you're going to take the top part and lift it over this peg here. All right. That's then going to act like a crossover band. We're going to use three bands for her neck. The neck is the weakest area and it's good to give it a bit of strength otherwise she ends up with a sort of wobbly head. And now we're going to do uh, shoulders, two bands for the shoulders, and down her chest we're going to do two there, and two there. Now she does not have straps to her dress, so we will do two this side and two this side of flesh tone. Okay. Now we're going to move to her bodice, which is black. So we're using two black bands and 
Now, you need to use a pair for ankles of skin tone and then we're going to use four of the Persian black and gold bands. So one, two, three and four. That takes us to here. So it does mean that the torso is a little bit shorter but that's okay because she's wearing a bodice and you know it, it will look fine like that. So let's do her legs which are going to be in these tights. So two, Daisy. And this will look this will make it look like she's got legs up to her armpits. That means long legs. <laughs> there we go. I haven't done much with these Persian bands yet. I'm, I'm not convinced I like them yet. <laughs> Two for her ankles in flesh tone. Now, we're also going to do here two bands from this side to this side, two bands from this side to this side, push everything down and we're going to do an end cap here once and twice with a single band to pop there. Alright, taking a single band we're going to stretch it into the shape of a triangle over these three pegs and now for her waist we're going to take a single stretch it loop it on itself and that will draw her waist in across the bust line you take a single and just pop it over like that we're going to use uh, flesh tone for her arms so take a single wrap it once and twice and we slide onto five pair of flesh so one two, three, four, and five. And that goes on this shoulder here. And then we'll do the same for the other side. So take a single, wrap it once and twice, and slide on two. A pair, two pair, three pair, four pair, and our last pair, number five. And let's pop that on this shoulder here. Now we're going to do her shoes. Take two red bands, place your hook through and wrap once and twice and slide onto two red bands like that. Reclaim the end. You're going to take another two and wrap once and twice. Take the from the first set, take the two bands that are closest to the end up and over you want the wrapped bands to be in the middle like that take two flesh tone and I like to do this separately so that I don't get things muddled up you want the first two bands to go over then do the wrapped bands and it does matter because otherwise the, the foot will look very odd so then you do the wrapped bands and then you follow by those last two bands and then you can reclaim the end and angle the foot the way you want it to be and pop on here. Let's do the same for the other side. Two, wrap once and twice. Slide onto two. Get another two, wrap once and twice. And you will slide onto two skin tone. No, I'm doing it the old way, aren't I? <laughs> You're going to take these two up and over. You can do it the old way, it doesn't matter. I'm so used to doing it the old way. Take these up and over. But I'm trying to make it easier for you all. There we go. 
and pop that on the end like that. All right. So we have shoes, we have crossover bands, we have arms, we have hair. Let's start looping up. Ah, now we're going to do a little funky thing here. I knew there was one thing. Take a single band, stretch it, figure eight, and let it fling across the room. <laughs> Loop it on itself. We're going to put one from here to here. We're going to do another one from here to here. All right, and we're going to put an end cap in the middle so that she doesn't look like she's got a whopping great hole in the middle of her chest. So a single band wrap twice and we'll pop that there. That's to give her bodice a little bit of definition. Dig down, find the two bottom bands and we're looping up. Now normally I would say loop the crotch in before you do the rest of the trousers so that you have continuity but in this case I want the bodice to be on top of the tights. So I'm going to loop those up and now I'm going to dig down past the crossover band, crossover band end cap to grab the two and bring them across at the diagonal and the same this side and that, that will give us continuity for her bodice dig down and find these and link up to here okay let's dig down and find those bottom two black bands you're going to push those crossover bands and all those other bands back with the back of your hook so you can find those two bottom bands we'll loop up all these black ones when you get to here, we're going to then dig down past the end cap, find the top two black bands. And it is two, even though it's a looped band on itself, you're still looking for two, two loops of it. So grab those and loop them across. Now we dig down and find the two flesh tone bands and we loop those up. Dig down, find the bands for the, to loop to the arms. If it's tight, and this one is, push your hook around the outside of the peg and it loosens things up for you. I like to do the arms to the throat next so that I know that I have those looped in. If you manage, if you loop everything up and you've forgotten your arms they'll fall off and that's really annoying. We're looking for three bands here so grab those it might be tight so wiggle 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 loop that up you're going for the top two, loop to one side, the next top two, loop to its corresponding side, and then the middle. Now with the middle you go all the way to the top, because as I said she has no bangs, so all the way to the top, because you want the pink bands to go on top and to be the predominant colour that you see. Link these in, push those crossover bands back, and the eye bands back so that you're just getting those two bottom pink bands. Now we're going to do a bit of fancy footwork here. What we want to do, we're going to grab these two pink bands here because they need to loop over but if they just looped here it's going to look really odd and a bit yucky. So I'm going to hold them out to one side with my fingers and I'm going to push my hook through the centre of all of those bands like that. Okay and then I'm going to pop my loops on here and I'm going to lift these up and over like that. So I've just got those two loops and I'll put that on the peg here and then I can twist these around like that to, to just make them even. We're going to do the same the other side. Grab these loops up, hold them out to one side you want to go through and grab all of these pink loops onto your hook like that okay put the loops that we're looming in on there and lift these up and over so that you are just left with the two loops that we are linking in 
on your peg, on your hook. <laughs> so there's the two, and we pop that there. That's going to make it look a lot nicer so that you don't have these two pink bands running across the centre of her head. Let's get two pink bands to tie off with. So we've got two here. Poke our hook down the middle and out through the side and put those two pink bands on. Twist your hook so the smooth side goes against the bands and doesn't snag anything. And move those bands to the back side of this peg. Take the two closest to you up, over and off. And we pull tight. And we're going to take her off the loom. I like to use a hook to help me so that the bands don't uh, have unnecessary pressure on them or snap or uh, any of that. Let's gently get her off the loom. her into shape. Now using a hook we're going to just gently pull these across so she's not looking like she's exposing herself. And it's tricky because we've got, um, you want to pull her up so that the bodice comes down. What's tricky is these bands here are skin tone because she doesn't have um, straps to her dress. But it does mean that you have to pull this down like that so that it doesn't look like she's peeking through her bodice. Okay, so there's her body. Here's her hair, and you can budge that up like that. We're going to hide this pink, two pink tie-off bands down the back of her head here. I just usually go behind some of the existing bands that are here. I'm secure in the fact that they're um, tied off in a slip knot quite securely so fiddle with her hair so that it's how you want it like that and now we get to the fun bit to do her skirt so her skirt is one two three four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten columns. And they're ten columns of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so ten columns of eight. So let's adjust our loom. You are going to need your end um, base removal tool on the end of your rainbow loom hook. Push out the middle and we're going to make sure that our loom is now in the standard configuration. As I said we're going to need 10 columns, we've only got three. Now if you have an extra couple of looms that you can add it all together, you can do it all in one hit, that's fantastic. If you don't, if you have a single loom, you're going to be doing it like me, where you're using two bands at a time, because we're double banding, and you're going to place eight pair down like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And it's, it's all going to be black, unless you choose to do something different, it's all going to be black. Now because we're going 10 columns, that means we stretch 
our crossover bands over five pegs twice. So we'll need two sets of crossover bands. We mustn't forget that. are going to be putting a single band across each of these rows. And these are our crossover bands, like I said. They're going to go across five pegs at a time. Well, we've only got three, so they will get stretched across to the next two columns when we get there. We also need to have an end cap on each of these. So take a single band, wrap it once and twice, and pop that on the end of each column like that. We're ready to loop up. We are going to loop up columns one and two. You will need a holding hook of some sort and that can be a pencil it can be another hook, it could be a knitting needle. So we've looped up columns one and two. We're going to take a holding hook and take off column number one. Then turn your loom over and using a base removal tool we budge our bases and we're just going to use the, just do the small ones first, leave the big one in place. We budge these forward so that we have room to put our next column. Take this column of pegs and move it forward like this and we're going to lay the bands for column number four. Don't forget we need an end cap. And we are going to drag our crossover bands over. Like that. Now we loop up the middle column. Like that. And we take off column number two. Again with our base plates but this time we're moving the big one. Move it forward so that it has room for the next column of pegs and this will be number five. See we're halfway there. I knew you'd be quick at this. <laughs> Talking of quick, this is not a race, so if I'm going too fast for you, you have control of the video and how fast it's going to go. You can pause me, um, you can mute me, my husband would love to be able to do that. You can fast forward me and rewind me, and you make me go at the speed you need, alright? So uh, I know a lot of you like to say, oh but you're going too fast. You've seen the video now of how I how I would be if I was going really, really slow. It's awful. I sound like I'm drunk. <laughs> Alright, let's loop up this one. Like 
and if I was really going fast I'd sound like a chipmunk so take this off now if you have forgotten how many columns you've done count the bottom there's little end caps on the bottom so you've got one two three four and five now we're moving the little base plates over again so that we can do column number six take your column of pegs over and let's lay the bands Don't forget that we need to do an end cap, single band, wrap once and twice, pop on the end here and because we're on column number six we're going to use new crossover bands if you remember. So take a single band and stretch it between the second column and your third column, the one to the right of it. Because they only stretch really between five to six pegs otherwise you're putting too much pressure on them let's loop this up push that hook back and push all those crossover bands out of the way onto our holding hook. Oops, stay on there please. Let's move our big base plate. Across. I'm going to push down quite heavily to make sure that they're all in place. Now I'm going to take this column of pegs across, we're on number 7, so we'll lay our bands. Don't forget the end cap. Drag your crossover bands over. And push down past the end cap to loop up. Come on, you know you want to get through there. There we are. Am I the only one that talks to my bands? Don't answer that, I'm scared of the answer. Alright, let's take this one off. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're on number eight. Move our base plates over. Push everything down. And let's lay our bands for number eight. end cap, drag the crossover bands over, and 
we loop up number seven. Take number six off the loom. Turn your base plate, your loom over and remove this base plate. And this will become column number nine. the crossover bands over and loop up the middle column We have one more column to do. Oopsie. Let's remove our base plates and budge them across. Take our column over. Now I'm going to actually take the big base plate off too and move it over so that we are more secure. Like that. Seeing as it's our last one, goodness gracious, that's a horrible thing to find there. And we need an end cap. Now because this is our last column we can we can loom or loop these two up. Let me lose. Grab that. Hmm, some of our crossover bands have decided to go walk about. If that happens, just grab them and pull them back. There we go. Let's loop these up. Probably while I was busy taking everything off the loom. Oh no, you don't, mister. just see that that needs to be what did I do there he is I don't want him twisted there So that is number 10. What you'll see that I have done by um, securing it is I have both ends out here and I have pushed it through her torso and at the back here I have a clip securing them. So I'm going to get a clip ready 
and I'm going to get two black bands and we will take this off our loom like this put the loom to one side twist the horrible hook around <laughs> and we are going to put our two black bands on the end of the hook here hold this tight we're going to move all of these over now I have been doing it this way lately because it stops me from getting cut but um, move them over however you like if you are doing it this way just make sure that you keep the two bands that you're moving everything onto taut you do not want it to be loose if it's loose it will escape you. All right. So holding on to both ends, we're going to grab our figure and we're going to put it around her waist from the back to the front. And then you can reclaim the end of your bands so that we can angle where we want this. Now I don't I don't want it too low. I want it to be quite high. And what I'm going to do is take and you can use a toothpick if you don't have two two hooks use your toothpick I'm going to pick where I want this to be and it's going to be in between her her body here so she's got you know the the end cap here and end cap here she's got two loops here I'm going to go through here all right I'm going to grab the two bands from one side and pull them through and I'm going to put a clip on like that all right keep her so that she's twisted around the other way I'm going to do the same thing again I'm going to go through the center I'm going to make sure I'm not going through the hook the um, pe uh, clip push my hook through the center again grab the next two bands and I'm pulling them through the center as well okay and I'm going to attach those to the other side of the clip like that that's hidden behind her so you're not going to see that all right stretch it into shape you want the hips her hips to be covered by the skirt like that and there we have pink in all her glory I hope you enjoy making her take care bye bye